This is a multifunctional meter that I've made and is based on Arduino. It has a few sensors. It could measure distance for long ranges, precise distance measure with a smaller sensor, it has a rule based on a wheel and an encoder, it could measure inclination so you could use it as a level and also angles between two lines and also measures RPMs using an infrared light. It has a laser pointer that you could enable in angle mode. All the data that is measured it is printed onto the OLED display. It also has touchless buttons, based on capacitance change, so that's a nice touch. And it also has a recharging module so we could charge the battery using the USB cable and the voltage is always printed on the display as well. So let me show you some examples of what this meter could do. First it has this sharp infrared sensor that could measure distances from 10 up to 80 cm with a decent precision. We enter that mode and as you can see, I get the distance on the screen in centimeter or inches. But now for a more precise distance measurement, I've used a different sensor. The VL53L0X that uses the time of flight measurements of infrared laser pulses to get the distance. It uses a 940 nanometer laser and it has a resolution of 1 mm and could work fine up to 30 cm. And here you can see the laser infrared light coming out from the module. Once again in this mode you will get the values in millimeters, centimeters and inches onto the OLED display. Now I press the mode button again and now I'm into ruler mode to measure length. Now the meter will use the diameter of this wheel and the encoder inside to count steps and by that measure distance. So you can roll this over any surface and it will give you the length of that line. You could reset the measurement in any moment just by pressing the zero button and then you could measure once again a different surface. The precision of this is given by the diameter of the 3D printed wheel and the encoder that needs 30 steps each rotation. Ok so now I enter the next mode. This mode uses the MPU6050 gyro and accelerometer to measure angles. This first angle mode will print the X and Y angles so you could use this as a level if you want a flat surface. Inside of the 3D printed case I've also have some niodymium magnets, so this will stick to any metal part, so you could use this in constructions if you want. It also has a laser module, so you could point that to the opposite wall and then see the inclination angle between this point and the wall. So push the laser button to activate or deactivate the laser when you are into this mode. Ok so the next mode is the angle meter. What you have to do is to place the front side of the meter parallel to the first line of the angle that you want to measure. Then make sure that the meter is flat on the surface and place the zero button and that will give you the start value. Now rotate in the yaw direction the meter and you will see that the angle is increasing or decreasing and by that you could measure angles. Or just put it sideways and measure the angle with the ground surface. Ok so the final mode is using this infrared LED and phototransistor to detect rotations. We enter this mode and now we have to place a white strip onto the shaft of the rotating device that we want to measure the speed. I place that onto this drill and I get close enough facing the LEDs and I get good readings. Each time that the white strip is in front of the sensor we will get a high pulse and by that we could count rotations. Ok guys so now that we know all the modes, let's see how to make this meter. But before we start, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, but also the notification bell, because otherwise you might miss my future videos when I post them. Also a huge thank you to all my patrons for supporting my work. So let's get started. Video sponsored by GLC PCB. They have a new PCB batch production factory, more than 10,000 orders per day and 600,000 customers worldwide and now offering the best prices. Ordering PCBs is very easy, upload the Gerbers, select your settings and order PCBs for just $2. What's up my friends, welcome back. We've already seen all the modes of this multifunctional meter. It could measure distance, angles and RPMs. But how does this work and how to make it? Well, first of all it has a 3D printed case that I've designed. This case was printed using PLA material with a 0.4mm nozzle, 
a 0.2mm layer height and two perimeters. You have the files for this below of this video. The case has spaces for all the modules. And those modules are the MPU6050 gyro and accelerometer, this infrared sensor for counting rotations, the VL53L0X laser-based distance sensor, this other sharp distance sensor, the battery charging module, an encoder with a 3D printed wheel, and of course, the Arduino. So that's what we need for this project. But we also need a 3.7V LiPo battery, an on and off sliding switch like this one, a small dot laser module like this one that costs a few cents, and of course an OLED display, so we could print all the values. As an extra, we could also add a small buzzer for sound notifications, and two resistors to read the battery level. Now the 3D printed case is made out of the bottom part and the top part, and also a 3D printed wheel for the encoder. So let's mount this. You have the full schematic for this project below of the video, so give that a look before you start soldering. First thing that I do is to solder some thin wires to the rotor encoder, and then I could place it inside of the case. Once I have the wires soldered and color coded, I pass those wires through this hole, and then I could add the 3D printed wheel to the encoder. So now I place it like this inside of the case, and it has a support in the needed shape. So then I use some hot glue to fix that in place, but don't apply glue on the top side of the encoder, because that will be pushed down by the top side of the case, with this part here. Now the rotor encoder is in place. So now I solder thin wires to the VL53L0X distance sensor. It needs 5 volts, ground, data and clock for the I2C communication. Then I screw that in place onto this other side with the sensor facing the outside of the case. Ok guys, so now I do the same for the sharp distance sensor. I use these two sensors because one has more range and the other one has a better precision. I add wires to this sensor and screw that in place onto this hole that the case has. Make sure that the sensor won't get to the outside of the case, because otherwise the meter won't be perfectly leveled. You could add some spacers and pull the sensor back a little bit if needed. Now I solder 4 wires to the MPU5060 IMU module. Then I glue that onto the bottom of the case using some hot glue. Make sure it is well aligned with the case. Ok, so now I add the final sensor, and that is the infrared module for the RPM measurements. So once again I solder 3 wires and I place that onto this hose, and glue it in place. So now I have all the sensors, it's time to add the extra parts, and by the way below this video you have an example Arduino code for each sensor so you could practice. So I first solder the battery to the battery charging module, and solder two more wires at the output. To the positive output wire of this module I solder one pin to the sliding switch. To the middle pin of this switch I solder another red wire. So now I can glue the charging module and the battery in place. This module has a space in front of the USB connector hole. So once I glue that in place I test if I could plug the USB connector. Then I also glue the sliding switch in place onto the side hole of the case. Finally I add some wires to the small dot laser module and glue that in place as well onto the right side hole. And now all the components except the Arduino are placed onto the bottom case. But now I take the top part of the case and the OLED display. First I solder 14 wires for 5 volts, ground, data and clock for the accuracy pins of the display, and then I glue this onto the printed part using some hot glue. Now I glue 4 capacitive buttons in place onto the same part, and with the sensing side facing the top of the case. You have to place these buttons with some space in between, so we won't press by mistake the wrong button. Once powered as you can see for these buttons, when I approach my finger it will have a high output, because it will detect the capacitive change. They are also quite sensible, and I hope that won't cause me any problems. Finally I add ground and 5V wires to all the buttons, and the signal wire to each one, and now all the parts are in place and with wires. It's time to cut to land all the wires and solder everything to the Arduino. For that have in front of you the schematic, and connect all the pins. I also solder a buzzer to one of the Arduino pins, because later I will add some sound notifications. 
I also solder a voltage divider from the battery in order to print the battery level onto the OLED display. So now everything is connected and there are a lot of wires. So this looks like a mess. But it will be all inside of the case so we won't see it. Now go below this video and download the code for this project. It is a little bit long because we have a lot of modes, but you have comments for each part, so make sure that you read all the comments. We read the analog values, we read the I2C data from the sensors, we also detect interruptions for the rotor encoder and print all the data onto the OLED display using the serial communication. So now upload the code to the Arduino and carefully place everything inside of the case. Now I use some small screws to close the case and this project is ready. I print and glue some labels for the buttons to give this a better look. I make sure that everything works as expected. You can always see the battery onto the OLED display and if it is low just plug a USB connector with any 5V charger and the battery will charge up quite fast. Use the sliding switch to turn this on and off. We have already seen all the modes before. But as a recap, we can measure distance up to 80 cm, but also with good precision for short range. It could be used as a level for X and Y axis, and it also has a laser pointer. It could measure RPMs for rotating shafts, and also measure length using the rotating 3D printed wheel. You could also measure angles and see all this data onto the OLED display. You have everything that you need for this project below the video. The schematic the part list, the 3D STL files for the case and the used code and libraries for the Arduino, so check the description. Ok guys, that's it for this project. I hope that you understand everything in this video, and I also hope that this video will help you and teach you something new. If so, consider subscribing, and please make sure that you activate the notification bell, because otherwise you won't receive notification when I upload new videos. Also consider supporting my work on Patreon. So thanks again and see you later guys.